I am here with my large hot logic. This is like casserole size. And I am going to be making some of these Imperfect Foods chicken thighs. I believe the brand on these is Cook's Venture. Counter cooking. No kitchen, no problem. I bought a pound of their chicken thighs and I got four uh, chicken thighs. These have the skin and the bone. So I've put them in this um, large baking pan. I don't have the nice Pyrex that fits perfectly in here, so I'm just using this one. I'm actually gonna put some foil on top of it. And I just put the thighs in skin side down because the heating element is on the bottom. And I'm going to season these with a little bit of poultry seasoning. Just gonna put a little bit on. I love poultry seasoning. Okay, now I am going to grab some aluminum foil. And I'm covering the top with some foil because this pan does not have a lid or a cover. If it did, I would just use that. Uh, this hot logic will not be moving at all. It's just going to be sitting here stationary. So I'm not worrying about anything spilling. And I really just want uh, to set this and forget this. I have a lot to do today. So I'm hoping to come back in about two hours or so and, and see if this is done. Maybe, uh, maybe more than two hours. So I just plugged it in and I'm pushing it aside and I did check and you can cook raw chicken in a hot logic. Hot logics cook up to 165 degrees and that is the internal temperature that you need uh, to cook chicken. So hopefully this will cook really good and by the time I want to eat a chicken thigh I'm hoping they're ready for lunch. Like right now I just finished breakfast a little while ago. And I'm hoping for lunch I could have one of these chicken thighs. I have some uh, chicken broth in my refrigerator, some homemade chicken broth. And I'd really like to take one of these thighs, shred it up, and eat it in the chicken broth. So we'll see. Okay, it's about three hours later now. And I want to open this up and see what's going on. I think the chicken should be done. That's what it looks like. It looks pretty good to me. I'm going to take a piece out and cut into it. And let's take a look at it. So here's one of the chicken thighs, and let's kind of, let's get into it, see if there's any pink inside. I'm not seeing any pink inside. This is looking perfectly cooked. I'm trying to rip a piece off. Okay, I'm gonna try it. It's really good. I love the poultry seasoning on it. It's definitely comparable to like an all natural chicken that I get at Whole Foods or Trader Joe's. It's still nice and juicy. Also, I have to remember that the packaging on these said heirloom chickens, so this could be like a different variety of chicken than I've had before. Anyway, I'm super happy with how these came out. It was so easy to cook these. Just put these in the hot logic, plug it in, and come back three hours later. These might have even been done two hours later, but, but this is the first time that I could get back to them today. So. So that is how you can cook some chicken thighs in a hot logic. This will work in a hot logic mini also. They all cook to the same temperature. I hope this video was helpful for you. If it was, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to this channel if you'd like me to post more videos like this one. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye.